Hey hi viewers, this is Troy from Troy's Digital Arts channel. Here's my latest update on my Sony AV3260CE VTR rest restoration. Just a little quick update, I've uh, now arrow dotted that, that gear that I cut from a pulley. It was like a gear and a pulley, gear cog and a pulley together and I just cut the cut the uh, pulley off and I've sanded the gear down and I've arrow dotted it onto the onto the spindle there. Anyway, managed to get it nicely in the center and it's actually working. I'll turn this just to show. So the cog spins the cog pretty much rotates it quite nicely. So yeah, that was a lucky fix, otherwise I would have had to try and source a exactly fitting gear with with the, the same amount of teeth, which would not be easy. It'd be like ordering off eBay from probably, I don't know, interstate maybe, overseas probably more accurately. Anyway, glad I found a suitable alternative. Now, next step is to stick a pad on that uh, that on that uh, retainer there because because basically when I do use the skew control, when I turn it, it's got to be able to hold in its position. By the way, I haven't I haven't uh, tightened the grub screws, so this is freely rotating the spindle. Anyway, so yeah, there's a there's a pad down there that this uh, here is the uh, retaining pad. The original material has pretty much deteriorated. So I actually was testing out a bit of chamois, and it actually it actually worked. The chamois actually retained the uh, the uh, turning spindle in its uh, position so and there wasn't there pretty much wasn't any slippage or not much anyhow so what I'm going to do is yeah, I'm just going to arrow dye a bit of a bit of chamois onto the uh, onto the retainer there and it should should keep the uh, skew control in its position and yeah and that's the uh, skew control fixed. Alright, that's the update. Stay tuned for when I've got it all when I've got it all put together. And uh, yeah, I've actually um, I've actually bought some lithium grease and I've lubed up the parts that were pretty stiff. Well, this wasn't so stiff. It was a bit stiff and it wasn't like m moving into position when I yeah, it's kind of, is, it was actually, yeah, sort of sticking out there a bit and it just wasn't turning. Yeah, that's what was happening. That was the main problem. The, uh, yeah, the idler wheels just wasn't, in, wasn't moving into position. Anyway, so, yeah, I've put lifting grease on, on the retaining, no, not the, I'm getting tongue-tied getting confused here now I've put lifting grease on the uh, on the fulcrum so it should keep it nice and lubed and uh, same goes with the uh, with the pinch roller arm but yeah it's still it's still just not engaging it's just I put it put it into play mode it still just doesn't want to click straight in so I have to push it in. Bugger that. Hmm. Yeah, it doesn't matter how much. I mean, I've tried WD-40 and I've tried lithium grease. I've transplanted a bit of grease on there. It's still not, it's still doing the same thing. So um, I guess I'm just going to have to live with put it in the play mode and then push the pinch roller in and it'll do its stuff.
Oh. Anyway, stay tuned for the next video when I've got the uh, the uh, chamois pad added to the retainer. And uh, yeah, I should have this deck all put back together by then. This is Troy from Troy's Digital Arts Channel signing out.